Sorry about that, Zeb. Thanks for doing this. Um, you know, kind of the, the storybook continues. Now you're back in the starter's role. First of all, how's the knee feeling? And second, just how are you preparing for the definite last college game of your career? Yep. Um, I feel really good. I mean, at Clemson, I felt good. I think that's why they let me go there towards the end. And uh, it's like a bittersweet feeling, you know. Um, you get to strap it up one more time. Uh, you know, thank goodness we're in a bowl game. And our last tour, I wasn't at Clemson. Uh, and Williams Bryce, so we get to go out on a good note. Um, you know, it'll be fun to go play those guys. Uh, I'm sure they're just as excited as we are. And, uh, you know, we got to take every day and have fun with it just because we're only guaranteed 14 more days. How would you kind of describe the last few days for you seeing the Rattler news and then obviously Jason transfer? What's this been like for you kind of observing it and, and how do you kind of stay level headed through all of it? Yeah. Um, you know, it all, I mean, it came to surprise to everybody just as it did. You guys, but you know it's kind of hard. Uh, doesn't matter who's coming or who's going. You know those guys are my friends and they're my teammates and guys that I enjoy being with. Um, I think that's the hardest thing. You know, I've done it three times in my career now. Um, you know, had friends come and go, even you know before the season ends, and it, and, it, and it wears on you a little bit just in the sense of, you know, you you get to really know those guys. You know their families. You know their parents and their brothers and sisters and who their friends are. So, you know, seeing a guy go early is is tough, but. You know, I'm no, I know Jason. I know he's going to do well. Um, you know, I'm excited. Spencer, excited Spencer and uh, Stogner coming in from OU as transfers because I've been in that role, and you just got to come in and own it. And um, you know, I'm happy for Jason. Uh, you know, he did a lot for this program, and he's a good person. Last night uh, during the Carolina Call Show, Coach uh, Beamer mentioned that you know you'll you'll be the starter for the game. Was that the original plan going into this week? I mean, we only saw 20 minutes, and I didn't want to look too deep into it, but I noticed that you were. It seemed like you were going with the ones when you're throwing on air. I mean, honestly, we had no idea. Uh, I think the plan this week was just to get better as a team and develop young guys, just like every team in the country does for a bowl game. I mean, every every single team's trying to get their young guys better. And uh, get the team better for next year, and set you know set the tone for the spring ball. And um, I think that was our mentality uh, as a quarterback room: is just let's get each other better and continue to get better. And have you had any conversations with Coach Beamer about your future here, and would you want to come back as a grad assistant? Yeah, I mean, Coach Beamer gave me the opportunity a lifetime to come here um, in May, and um, this is, there's no other place I'd I, you know I'd like to be. I mean, I'm a Gamecock for life now, and uh, I take that to heart. Um, you know, I want to embody everything somebody like Connor Shaw does. So, yeah, my goal is to come back, and whatever they ask me to do, I'll do. So now that you are, I, correct me if I'm wrong, you don't have any more eligibility, right? There's right. nothing tucked away yeah. somewhere. Just, yeah. just wanted to make sure. But, um, you know, now that you are kind of at, at the end of this, and, and it really is real, I guess just, I know you still got one more game, but just, just how would you kind of describe the last year? What's yeah. it been like, and, and you know, how would you kind of put it into words if you right. can? Uh, you know, there's a lot of highs and lows. Um, you know, saying goodbye to something I knew for two years at North Dakota State um, with those guys, and, you know, I miss them a lot. I call all those guys all the time, and I enjoyed getting to watch them this weekend. Uh, you know, I come here and hit the ground running, don't have a clue how to recruit, really, uh, just because I've always done it from a player's point of view of um, hosting recruits, and then, uh, you know, hit the season fast, and it's been really fun. You know, the wins and losses, at the end of the day, 50 years from now, don't matter to me. Um, I think it's the friends you make and, you know, just the journey, being around all these coaches, uh, the fans, doing the Carolina walk. All the little things are what I'm going to cherish, um, and I can't be more thankful. Is it kind of continuing with that, what would it mean for not only you but for the team and program as a whole to win this game and kind of create some momentum heading into the offseason? Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing for me is just – setting off the seniors that have been here for a long time the right way. Um, you know, that means nothing more, that would mean nothing more to me to do that. And, uh, you know, set the program in the right direction uh, for the future of this is the, you know, this is the standard and we're gonna, and, and we're gonna abide by that each year of, you know, a bowl game isn't a jack around time or a time to, you know, it's a time to have fun, but you still wanna win the football game and put on a good show. Um, and, you know, that's our goal is to go out there and do everything we can to win the game, no matter how we gotta do it. Kind of off topic here, but uh, Josh Van has had a really good season. You know, he was a guy that maybe didn't do so well his first few years, yep. really had a strong year. Since you were kind of instrumental in that, just how have you seen his growth as a person and as a player this year? Yeah, uh, I'm going to start with the person first just because 
Um, I'm very, very, very thankful I got the chance to play and be in the locker room with Josh and travel with, you know, we ride the same bus, stay two rooms apart about everywhere we go. So just to get to know him as a person, uh, Josh is as much success as he's had. And, you know, granted times we didn't get him the ball as much as we probably should have. You know, he is very, very, very humble and super competitive. And, um, you know, he's going to be a great father to his daughter. And, you know, to me, that's that's the joy in this season is getting to see moments like that. You know, I called him every day till the kid was born when he when he took off after the game just because, you know, I care about him. Um, and, you know, on the field, I think everything just carries over. He works really, really hard. He wants to be successful. He wants to set his family up for success in the future. And he knows he's got to do the little things to do that and everything else to take care of himself. Um, you know, I'm just thankful for the opportunity to get to know him just because of the dad he's going to be because uh, that's all he cares about, um, you know, and you got to respect that out of somebody. Sure. Dave, obviously you and Spencer are different people, but just as a transfer, when you come in as a quarterback, I guess just what is that like? How would you kind of describe what that situation is like, just given that sort of the, the I guess, what it, being a quarterback entails, and how would you kind of describe what that process is like, maybe, or how it differs maybe from, you know, any other position? Yeah. I mean, first, I wasn't a Heisman candidate going into the season, so he's got the he's got the upper hand on that. Um, but you know, we probably are different people. But I guarantee you we're a lot alike in the same ways in uh, the the demands that we want met, um, and you know, holding people to a high standard. Uh, you know, all you got to do is come in and, and earn his stripes, um, as the old saying goes. You know, just do your job, uh, get to know each teammate, and be a good teammate. If you're a good teammate, you can be a good quarterback. Even if you don't score points or throw touchdowns, you can be a good quarterback in a room anywhere. Um, and there's examples in every in every program. So I know he'll do a good job of that. Um, I'm sure he's happy he's got a teammate coming because he can be hard moving to a new place. Even though everybody knows your name, it's not the same when uh, when you don't have any true friends or someone you trust. Uh, you know, he is from Arizona, and you know that'd be like me. You know, as far as North Dakota, I mean, it's tough just because you don't have your friends and family and. You know, I think he's going to do a phenomenal job of being a good teammate, learning the offense, and uh, owning his role. Zeb, what was the? Uh, I know you can't probably won't speak on behalf of the other guys, but what was that meeting like when Shane met with you guys in terms of you know going over that Rattler was coming in, just that quarterback room in particular, and, and how those guys overall handled it? Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody talks, and. We're pretty close in that quarterback room because there's been three start, three guys start the season and three guys have won, which is pretty rare in my opinion. Um, you know, and we're all close, so you know, you got to put, you got to tip your hat to Coach Beamer and how he handled it. Uh, he did a really good job of, you know, talking to us, making it personal, and um, you know, that's really all I'm going to say about it. And Coach Sat was in there too, so I think the two of them being in there really helped, and uh, I tip their hat to what they said. Just with the offense as a whole, it's struggled at times this year. What would you like to see from this offense in the bowl game, and what's kind of the next step as you get into the off season for them? Yeah, I mean, it's been you know statistically, there's probably been a lot of struggles, but we made strides in every game. If you know, if you watch it in detail of what we know, uh, you know, I'm just you got to think about the little things like who's played tackle, who's played guard, uh, who's been at quarterback, who's been at receiver, who's been at tight end. At so many different points in the season, we've had to interchange in the first year and you know I, I think we continue to overcome that um, you know I know that E. Doug and Gwen and Tyshawn and all those guys Jalen and I just know that they're going to want to continue to be more physical and then be the heart and soul of the offense and I know that when they you know they continue to play like they did at Auburn uh, they'll be really 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 hard to get by and um, you know I think they got a ton of respect for each other which makes them really good and you know, if we build from the inside out, I think we're going to have a really good team next year. Good. Thank you, guys.